How's it going? I'm going to show you how to create a bulk design in Canva using a template and AI, some spreadsheets, and magic. So here is what I have set up. It is an example inside of Canva of a video that has a format to it, which is pretty great. It's a little countdown. And you may be asking yourself, wait a minute, why isn't there actual content written inside of there? Well, here's where the fun part comes because I've laid all this out for a quiz and I've been seeing these all over short form video, TikTok, Instagram Reels, shorts. And let's say I would wanna go through one by one, put these in. Actually, what you wanna do is the following. First, pull some information. So in this case, I pulled top compensation from organization, from, from nonprofits, thanks to Cause IQ. So I pull uh, this information now, what do I want? Well, I actually need this in the format of a quiz, and not just any quiz, one specifically designed so I can import it into the Canva bulk create. So inside of here, I give the following prompt, create a trivia quiz around uh, this question, three multiple choice answers, A, B, C, and different columns, the answer column with the letter, name of the organization. I give it some more context. This is a trivia guessing, compensation amount. I would like 10 rows. Then I pop in, just literally paste in, and you can put in a CSV or whatnot of your content, and boom, it rolls out the columns I need. I can copy it and then toss that in to my sheet. I'll do a little cleaning of this, of course, just to you know, double check factual accuracy and whatnot, but I mean, it, it's pretty true to layout. Um, so I have all of these. So now we're gonna go back into the layout and template, and I'm gonna do the following. I'm gonna go over here, and there's actually a bulk import uh, right over here, bulk create, sorry. And the first step is actually identifying the, the data that I want, and I've added that, I upload that CSV. And in this case, I'll get upload. Huzzah. All right. Now you see I've got a little bit of QA uh, inside of here. What I'm going to now do is it says right click on the element. Now make sure that element is actually text. So because I've labeled it the way I did, it automatically connected it because I've labeled uh, these things in that way. Now answering the question of, wait a minute, why was that a variable? And I'm going to go through and just make sure these things are mapped, connect data. Great. It's auto mapping. I do note that one is not mapped. And that is this funny little extra layer of letter that I want to just pass in. I'll make sure this is connected. Yep, checkbox answer. And so, yeah, next step is just hitting create on this, which is uh, right down here. And we can see these options, great. I've got uh, applying the data, we'll go and populate these pieces. You can kind of see all of these. So there's no reason why instead of 10, I couldn't have done a uh, hundred of them. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click that while that's building. Mind you, this is um, all inside of Canva too, like help create bulk. I think the big difference of why I'm excited about this is because of the integration of AI to prep those data in this way. And I'm also interested because I think because there's so many people doing like this infotainment already on YouTube, and shorts and Instagram reels and whatnot. Like, I think there's a lot of other ideas for, you know, turning facts of your organization into quizzes that are more engaging, that are going to get you an additional lift on these uh, pieces. So you have the other ideas like matching an organization to its mission statement or guess a nonprofit logo could be fun, location quiz, famous ambassadors. So if you had celebrities associated or with your cause, basically any list of facts, you can run this play. You can take it turn it into that quiz format uh, through a prompt similar to, you know, writing this trivia thing. Um, you know, we use our, our cause writer because it's tuned to this, but you don't have to. You can use any LLM out there. And then go about and finally, let me see if it is exported. Yeah, brilliant. Look, now I've got uh, an actual video ready to go. Now you may be looking at it like, oh, it didn't map up. What's really nice about this is it's already created all of these uh, videos. So now I can, yeah, I can quickly just kind of go in here and spruce tune tune up a little bit yeah there we go love the live demo um but there you go oh see it's a little bit off and no big deal i can kind of go in here and right size these pieces just to make sure i like it but i mean it's a lot of heavy lifting done 
I don't want to make this seem easier than it is, but there are templates that you can go and find. So if you go in and look for, you know, quizzes uh, inside of a video template, you can get a whole bunch of them and then you just go in and customize them. Uh, and that that's pretty, uh, it's pretty powerful. And then when I do uh, my share, I can go and download and I'm actually going to download as separate files um, because I don't want to go one by one through there and hit download. All right, I hope that's helpful in creating bulk content for your organization. Again, trying to increase that attention and decrease the amount of work it takes to create the bulk of content I think necessary to put out there into these socials.